and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm just about to head off for my weekly food shop and a food shop for today's video because in today's video I'm going to be doing something special, different, a bit funny you could say. I'm going to be cooking up and chefing up a three course vegan a la carte menu for my parents. I didn't want to film a full day of eating today, I didn't want to film a day in the life, I didn't want to film a food challenge should we say, I just wanted to film something a bit different so hopefully you guys will like this video, if not at least I tried it. Hopefully you'll be able to gain inspiration for yourself to cook yourself a starter, a main, a dessert, you know, treat yourself or treat somebody else like your partner or your parents, siblings, whoever. Vegan food can be super fun and inventive, that's why I love it. So I've jotted a few things down, hopefully they work out because I've never tried them before. I'm going to head off for my weekly food shop and I'll probably catch you in a bit. Alright, welcome to the kitchen, let's meet the parents. Come on in parents. Mum, this side. Father, that side, introduce yourself, who are you? I'm Charles. <laughs> I'm Anne, Lane's mum. And welcome to my kitchen! So I'm going to be chefing you both up some vegan food today and we're going to start with the starters, then we're going to go into the mains and then we're going to go to dessert. What do you think? We Beautiful. can't wait to oh, see. Thanks. We it's can't lovely. wait? Okay, mm. lovely. lovely. So I'm going to shove you outside now while I start wow. off with the starters yep. and then I'll call you in to your table. Well, start. Can't Thank wait you very much. See you. See you. <laughs> Okay guys, so for starters, I'm gonna actually make them some Zata polenta chips. Um, Zata is a Lebanese herb mix, so that's what I'm gonna be mashing up along with the polenta chips. Gonna shove it in the oven for a few minutes, serve it onto a plate a la carte style, and then plate it up for them to have. <laughs> So for the polenta chips, which I got the polenta from Tesco's, you just need to cut it in half and then cut them into wedges like so. And then I place that onto a baking tray and then lightly sprayed on some olive oil and then sprinkled on some Zata mix. Then I pop that in the oven for around 20 to 25 minutes on 180C in the oven until they were crispened and then place them onto a plate. Then I drizzled on some tahini, sprinkled on some pomegranate seeds and some coriander. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the Zata polenta chips, which I drizzled with some tahini. I drizzled on some pomegranates on top as well and some coriander. So let's go and see what they think. Oh, by the way, I've dressed into some more chefy attire and it says tuck into tasty. So let's see what they reckon. So Madre, father. What do you reckon so far? Yeah. Presentation wise, 10 out of 10? Yeah. 10. 10 out Perfect. of 10. Perfect, yeah. Beautiful. So go dig in, take your piece. Mm. Shall I take it first? Ladies first. Okay. Shall I take it on my plate then? Yeah. yeah. Very nice, yeah. gentlemen yeah. like Dad, take your piece as well. Dig in, don't be afraid to use those fingers of yours. <laughs> wow. Sauce, mm -hmm. flavour. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Coriander. Wow. Okay, so what would we like to drink? Water or some sparkly? Sparkly blood orange and cranberry. We've got some sparkling blood orange cranberry presse here. That's what I'm gonna serve up for the parents. If I can open it. This mm -hmm. No, this is polenta. This yeah. is polenta. Polenta that is polenta and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. There we yeah. go, Madre, that's still in. Let me know when you're happy. Thank you. That's enough for you. Thank you. Thank you. Madre? Cheers, love. Cheers. Cheers, Layla. Cheers. 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 <laughs> okay, so taste-wise, what do we think? Perfect. Hundred percent. Hundred percent? You have all the flavour. All the flavours. Tahini. Tasty. Coriander. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Tasty. Oh my gosh. You a tahini lover, peeps? 
I love it. How about Zata? Mm, it's amazing, the best Mediterranean flavor. Mm -hmm. Coming from the Lebanese man himself. Yes. Wow. How about you, Lady of Essex? This, this, this. Absolutely delicious. Is that what you can say? Delicious. Yes. <laughs> At this world. Okay guys, enjoy your starters. I'm gonna get on with doing the main. So enjoy. <laughs> For the main course, I made some cauliflower turmeric steaks. You'll just need to cut up some cauliflower into halves so you form slices of cauliflower. And to season, you'll just need some vegetable stock with some onion powder, salt, garlic, and some turmeric with some nutritional yeast. Then I put a little bit of olive oil with that, some water, mixed it all up, and marinated the cauliflower steaks individually. And then I pop them into the grill for around 15 minutes just to crispen up. For the mashed avocado, I halved a avocado and then mashed it all up. I then added some lemon juice to that. Some fresh mint. And mixed it all up. I then added some peas to a bowl and then added the avocado to go along with that and mash that all up as well. To form the avocado flour to top with, you just need to half each avocado half and then cut that into mini slices. Then you need to spread it out and wrap around to form a flour. I then formed the dish by adding some fresh spinach, the minted mashed avocado peas, the cauliflower steak, the avocado flour, and some sun-dried tomatoes with a lemon slice. Okay, so for the main course, we've got some minted avocado and peas mashed up together with some sun-dried tomatoes, a cauliflower turmeric steak, some avocado in the form of a flour because it's a la carte and it has to look fancy. And then we've got some spinach and then they can drizzle lemon on there with preference. So let's go see what the parents think. Okay guys, so we have the main course here. We've got cauliflower steak wow. with mashed oh, peas wow. and avocado and some sun-dried <coughs> tomato with a lemon mm -hmm. if you'd like to drizzle it on looks the top. very creative. Very what do you think of the presentation so far? Beautiful. Well, it looks delicious divine. and healthy and something different. Yeah, looks very divine. Lovely. Great, very and four out of ten? Ten. Ten out of ten? Twenty. <laughs> I promise you I haven't made them say this. <laughs> wow. Looks very creative. Tuck in guys, I'm a bit jealous. I've already had my lunch and snacks already for the this day. This is the cauliflower wow. steak. And this is the avocado. Well done, Mum. <laughs> I'll mash that, it looks divine. Right, I'll let you tuck into that, see what the mm. flavours are like, and then I'll check in with you guys in a second. Mm. For the churros, you'll just need some butter, some sugar, and whisk that all together. You'll then need to add some water, some plain flour, whisk that all up and then you'll just need to stir the mixture into a pot until it forms a thick dough just like this. This is super important to do otherwise it won't really form its shape as a churro. So just make sure you form this sort of dough. Then you'll just need to get some sort of piping bag or churro maker like this. I got this one from Amazon, it's really handy. I would suggest you buy this if you want to make any churros. I'll leave it in the description box down below. And then you just need to form your churros like so. This is 
I then spread across some vegan butter. And some cinnamon sugar. I pop that in the oven to bake for around 20 minutes until crisp and then served up onto a plate with some coconut caramel some chocolate chips which I melted in the microwave for about a minute and then serve that all up I'll leave all the recipes in the description box down below for you to refer to so I know churros isn't essentially a a la carte menu choice but you cannot miss out on churros for dessert so I made my parents dessert with some some dips and some strawberries so let's go see what they think for the final meal of the day Okay guys, so we've got to the final meal of the day. Ooh. We've got some churros and some dips. Oh, looks intriguing. Dig in, oh, what do you think? Intriguing, lovely, Magic. scrumptious. Magic. Scrumptious. Magic. Tuck in guys. We can. Get in that sauce hey. there. What What's we've, that sauce? So we've got caramel sauce yeah. and we've got dark chocolate sauce. I like the chocolate sauce. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. Mm. Oh, look at that sauce. Mm. Yes. <laughs> mm. Heavenly. Truly and really. Heavenly. Mm. Heavenly. And the vegan. Mm. Wow. Now I'm just going to come and leave. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Chocolate. Oh wow, look at that. Mm. Dive. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. That's really good. Mm. That's amazing. Caramel mm. tastes delicious. I didn't make that myself, but. I love it. <laughs> it's something. It's a delightful. Heavenly. Mm. We need a fork. Really? We need a fork. Yum. That's it. Scrumptious. Take you one more. Mm. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you both really enjoyed the vegan three course meal. What did you think of it, Dad? Well, delicious and different and healthy. That's the three words you've given, and Mum? It was scrumptious, that honour of my daughter making a lovely meal for us. Oh, thanks. Mm. Absolutely amazing. All right, so Dad, what should they do? Don't forget to like. And mum, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, guys.